Are you getting ready to enter in your ATM transactions and you're thinking, how do you do that in QuickBooks Online? Then you are in the right place. I've been getting asked this question often. So I thought, why not create a video for you and also explain some of the features and functions in QuickBooks along the way. Are you ready? By the way, if we've never met before, hi, I'm Candace Camper, and I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. So let's jump in to QuickBooks Online. All right. So I remember when I was first doing QuickBooks Online, I didn't understand the difference, especially coming from desktop on the different functions and features that QuickBooks has. So let's talk about them real quick. When you come here to the plus and you see vendors, one of the things I love to teach inside our training programs is that vendors are the people and places you spend money. So when you come here, expenses is when it comes straight out of your bank account. Checks is when you actually physically write a check that you're going to cash from the bank. Bills is going to be accounts payable. Now, this is one of the upper tiers that you're going to see that inside. Now, you might be thinking, hey, I'm using bank feeds, but let's focus first. One of the things I love to teach is how do you manually enter it? And then bank feeds just speeds up the process. But it's not where I recommend you typically start learning because it's better to learn the functionalities of QuickBooks. Let me know if that makes sense in the comments. I love it when you chat with me. All right, so go under vendors, click on expenses. And what you're going to do is you're going to start at the top. So this is going to be, where did you spend the money? Let's say that we went to Bob's Burger Joint. This is a sample file in QuickBooks. We'll just do that. This is going to be, which way did you spend the money? So we'll do a checking account. It could be that you used a credit card here. doesn't matter, but we're doing ATM transactions. So let's stick with bank account. And then the date that you did the transaction on. And then the type. So we can say it was a visa. And then you could put a reference number if you need that for your business. If you're using tags, you'd put a tag in there. And then down here, this is where the simple part of it is, but important as well. This is where you decide which category you want to pick. The category is going to determine how it's going to show up on your profit and loss. And that's where a lot of people get things a little confused with QuickBooks is they don't realize that this category matters for how you want to be able to see it for making decisions all throughout the year, but also filing your taxes. So you're going to want to come in here and say, where do I want to see Bob's Burger Joint? Is it a business meal? Is it, you know, you you create it. Now, I'm not going to give you tips on like, what's the best decision to make for taxes. You should always have a tax professional that you love working with. Where I focus is teaching you how to do it within QuickBooks. So was it a travel meal? Was it meals and entertainment? There's all these different rules and guidelines. I'm just going to pick travel meal. It's a business trip. And then over here, maybe you, you bought some hamburgers for the other people you were traveling with. You would put in the dollar amount. Now, the cool thing is, is if you went somewhere and you wanted to split this between a couple different, maybe part of it was advertising. Maybe you spent money at Bob's Burger Joint to put up an ad for you. You could put it under advertising. Or if you want to split it between different places, you could say $20 went to that. Or maybe you did a donation or whatever it is. Any transaction doesn't just have to be Bob's Burger Joint, but you went to Home Depot to buy job supplies. You can break that down into multiple expense categories over here. You can mark it as billable tax and you can allocate it to a customer. This is something more that I teach about the details of all of this inside my Commerce QuickBooks program. So if you're looking for more of the how to's where we go in more depth related to QuickBooks online specifically, if you want to understand what items are, how to use them, memos, uploading your receipts, you can do that here as well. Okay. And if you want more specific training, I will link a workshop that tells you more about Commons QuickBooks up above and down below that teaches you about customizing QuickBooks. So go check it out. Or you can always join the wait list for Commons QuickBooks as well. I'll link that. Just know it's if you're ready to dive in, that's where I go real deep from the beginning of the how to do QuickBooks all the way to the end. All right. So come in here and you're going to categorize for the ATM transaction your expenses. Now, if you go no, I just want the one. You can always delete the line over here. Then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here. Once you've entered everything in, if you want to upload your receipt, you can do that. And then you're going to go to the bottom and you have two options. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to either save it, which means I'm just saving it, but I still want to open. Or you can click save and close, or you can click on the little arrow and do save and new. Totally up to you. You can also use your shortcuts. Let's talk about the differences. Save and close is going to close the screen. Save and new is going to give you the opportunity to enter in another transaction. All right. So you choose which one you want. Now, a few other things. Once you've saved this, a few other things to know is that you can come over here to the top left. And if you ever want to look up a transaction done before, you click on the little clock warp and you can go in and say, okay, what have I done in the past? 
over here, there's a little wheel. You can have it show your items or not. You can have it track the customer or not. You can have it all these different things or functions. So if, as I was explaining them, you're like, I don't think I need that. I don't need that. You can turn them off here. All right. So go ahead and save your transaction and get ready to enter in the next one. All right. Let me know. What was your biggest aha in the comments? Are you now going to start using the ATM transaction feature? Are you wondering about bank fees? You can go up above or down below. I'll give you a training on that as well. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of our tips and tricks that we send out, you can get them straight to your inbox by joining our tips and tricks. Click on the link here to learn more. And I can't wait to see you inside our next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Bye. Thank you.